Hey guys, this is part four of the 650 double pumper rebuild, the 4777-2. One thing I wanted to tell you about, I, we got on the pin gauges about going through the air bleeds and the uh, different circuits, the auto fuel circuit. But one thing I didn't touch on was these right here. This, this right here is the motion circuit for the main well, for the main well right here that's coming out to the booster. So what it does, it sucks air from this air bleed right up here in the center, right there. And then it, it actually pulls it down through here and draws it in this cavity, which is your main well, where your jet pulls fuel, where your power valve does the same thing. I mean, everything's working through this, through this main well right here. There it is right here. You sit better on this side. But these holes right here aren't what you got to get clean. There's literal holes inside these bigger holes. And you have to get that in there and you'll keep filling around. You'll feel it drop down just like that one and that one there drop down. See how far? Well, I just want to show you how far they actually drop down. Right there is how far it goes in. If you just get it started there, you're not going to be in the hole until you actually slip in the hole and it goes all the way in. But you got to make sure these little holes that's here in the motion circuit. There are smaller holes, half the size of these on the outside, down inside here, and they gotta be clean. It's real important. All right, let's stick this thing on together. Let's get our gasket situated. All right. All right, there's one bowl. <coughs> we're gonna do the same thing. Well, if I can hold on to the bowl, please. We're gonna do the same thing to the secondary. We got the float set, all that's good. We're gonna put the bowls on. All right. Now what we'll do first, we'll put the secondary on first. It don't really matter which one you wanna do. But we're gonna just slide it. We'll make sure the pump is in the right place. Slide these bowls on there. And then I'm gonna work this arm underneath this pump. Like that. Can they get a picture of that? Yes, sir. A shot of it. Alright, then we we'll just spin our bowl screws on in. I got the little plastic washers on here. I wish I had the, the other ones, the paper, the cardboard type. Because this cardboard's been rebuilt so many times that I don't know how good it's going to seal with these plastic washers on. There's a secondary. We got a pump on it. Last thing we're going to do is adjust those pumps. Let's get the, the primaries in it. We've got everything built up just like our other pump. Got all our new parts in it. We're going to do the same thing with it. I'm going to try to stand it up here where you can get a better shot of it. But just bring the, the bowl down. And then make sure the arm slides under it. And just spin them on. straight all right guys <coughs> there's the front and the back look at that plate we got in that accelerator pump right there that we don't want so we're going to have to take that out of there first thing I'm going to look and see how much of our our uh, transfer slots right here 
or I actually open it. That's just about perfect right there. Can they get a shot of that? Hold it. How about that? Tilt it a little Tilt bit. It down. Yeah, let me Can get they get it. a shot of those transfer slots? No. Just can't see them? Uh -huh. How about now? Anything better? They'd be right here. Yeah, hold it still for me. All right, see if you can focus in right there. Yep. They just got a little bit exposed. That's good. That's plenty good. And the secondaries are about the same. They have a little bit less clearance. Okay. Let's take our play out of our pump. So when we're going to do this is we're going to hold the bottom with the three eighths. And then screw it counterclockwise. Now that sounds crazy, but you're lengthening it when you actually back it off. And we want to go wide open throttle. Let's see if we got a little play here. See that play right there? Mm -hmm. We got to have a little play there. We don't want the, it to bind up here. If it didn't have that play, it could bind the actual throttle. And we don't want to take a chance with that. Now we don't have no play here. Let's see how we're looking as far as clearance wise. We're good there too. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is stick our auto air bleeds in. I'm going to stick this gasket in here. Get it with you. I hope they can see this. I know it's hard to get around it. I'll get, be I get it side angle. I got it. Keep this going. All right. Just, just keep it going like that and then start your mixture screw. Try to keep the screw straight if you can, where you don't cross set it going in. That's what keeps tension, that little cork, round cork doing it. That's what keeps tension on the auto mixture screws where they don't want to move around and back out. Now we're almost all the way in. There's in. We're going to come out a half and then three quarter. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let's go back in. All right. There's a half, there's one, one and a half. All right, let's do this side over here. I'll try to get this a little better here. All right, we're gonna push it in, make sure it's all the way in. Get our idle mixture screw, get it started. All right, I'll try to do this where y'all can see it as I do it. started now. Let me go ahead and get it spun in there. That little cord donut, that's what keeps the tension on your on your screw. If that you can, there's also you can use the smallest O-rings they have in the kit and you can use them if you don't like the cork you can use the O-rings just as easy. Alright we're all the way in right there. Let's go one half one one and a half. Alright now here's one more thing I want to show you. These are your little check valves for your accelerator pump. We're going to put a little spray on them where they don't stick. We're going to stick them in there. Both of the holes. Now here's something I want you to, to do, but do it lightly. You got to do one of these little hammers looks like that one of our babies ought to be walking around with. And a real fine little punch and then just get a little tap. Not much. Just enough, we're going to seat that in there. Now we're going to double check them real quick. Pour them out. Just make sure they don't stick. And they didn't. Put them right back in. Point it in. Always goes down. Because that's the part that checks it. And then we got our two bleeds here. These are our, our actual accelerator pump nozzles. This is what gives us our squirt down the front and back barrels. I just stick it in there like that to get it started. And then we'll do the front one. I drilled these a little different sizes on some of them. This particular motor needs a little more in the rear. Alright. 
Snug them down. Not too tight, just good to snug. Alrighty. We got no clearance in our secondary, none in our primary. There, there's just a hair in that primary. Let me move. Let me take it one more time. Take it out just a hair more. Now your final adjustment on here for your for your actual accelerator will be after you set your idle, you got everything done just right, then go back and check these one more time, front and rear back here, and make sure that you've got no clearance, zero clearance, and you have a, at wide oak throttle, you have about 15, 20 thousandths, and that's a good, good all around. Now this, basically guys, we set the mixture screws at one and a half turns, we'll start the motor up, let the carburetor fill up, then we'll come back, take the, the screws off the bowl, Check our float level. If it ain't just right, we want it right to the very bottom edge of this screw here. Where, where if we bump the car the least little bit, it'll roll out. The fuel will roll out. And when you get both there, if they're all right, fine. If not, you do your last final adjustment on them. This is ported vacuum on your hollies. This is one that's going to come in as you accelerate the throttle. It's going to apply vacuum here. It won't have none at idle. This one here is manifold vacuum at idle. And this one right here is like for your brake booster or your uh, PCB valve. And I always kept these up when I rebuild them because if somebody's running them without power brakes or without a PCB valve, then they don't have a vacuum leak back there. If they, when they go to hook it up, they see the cap on there, hey, you know, they can take it off. That way it does a better job with covering all bases, basically. All right, guys, that's it. So here we go. We got a 650. It's probably going to flow like a 700, probably, from all the work we've done to board. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this off the two actual fittings for the for the inlet tubes. I'm going to leave them off for right now, and we'll. Uh, he's supposed to be sending me some new ones. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this, and please like, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.